In this HDR color correction tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn your low resolution video or photo clips from this to this. So the first thing you want to do is import your video or photo clip. And then once you've done that, we're going to select it here and drag it onto our timeline. Next, we're going to be selecting the clip and looking to the top right corner and go to adjustment. And then we're going to select curves. Now for each curve, drag the right side down to the bottom and then go to the other side and drag it all the way up and repeat this process for each color curve. Once you've done that, it should look something like this. And then we're going to be going to the effects icon in the top left corner, and we're going to select the lens category, and we're going to scroll down until we find blur, and we're going to add that to our timeline. Once you've done that, we're going to drag the blur effect so it covers the entire video track, and then we're going to turn the blur up to 100. Now we're going to go to export in the top right corner and select your resolution as well as your frame rate and give it a name, and then we're going to export it. So click on export and we're going to go to OK. Then you can click cancel and we're going to be deleting everything. And then we're going to go back to import in the top left corner and re-import that original photo or video clip you had before. Then we're going to go back to import and we're going to import that video that we just rendered and add it to the video track timeline. Once you've done that, we're going to left click on it and then we're going to go to video and we're going to scroll down until we find blend and under mode, we're going to change this to color burn. Now for the percentage, this is going to depend on your photo or video clip, I'm going to turn this down to right around 55. Then we're going to go to the top right corner and select import and we're going to go to stock materials. And this is where you'll see a white stock footage background. So we're going to add this to our timeline and then drag it out just to ensure it's covering everything. Then we're going to left click on this white video track and under video and basic, we're going to change the blend mode to overlay and we're going to change the percentage to right around 80 or so. Now, once you're happy with how the overlay looks, what we're going to do next is left click on our original video or photo clip, and then we're going to go to adjustment. And instead of going to curves, we're going to go to basic. So for this clip, I'm going to be turning up the saturation to right around nine or so. Then I'm going to scroll down and increase the exposure to right around five or six. We'll leave it on six. Then for the contrast, we're going to be decreasing this a little bit. Let's go to around minus five or six. And then once we've done that, we're going to scroll down and we're going to be changing the highlight. So let's increase the highlight to right around eight or nine will probably look good. Then we're going to scroll down a little bit and find sharpen. And I'm going to increase this to right around 15 to 16 and see how that looks. Now it looks like we could probably decrease the exposure a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then it's just a matter of adjusting these settings until it looks good. So I'm going to scroll this over a little bit. I'm going to scroll over this a little bit. So here's what the original looked like. And here's what it looks like after adding all these different effects. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.